We continue now at the top of Daf Peihei Amad Aleph and Maseches Ksubis. This is Ksubis Daf 85. And the previous Amad Yemar Bar Chosha was owed money, so he told the Shliach to go to the person who owed him the money to go take that person's boat to seize the boat. So Rav Papa and Rav Huna Breder of Yeshua, they saw the Shliach, and they said, you can't take the boat because it's a case of Tophis Labal Chov, but Mokam Shechov Le'acherim, you're grabbing for a Bal Chov, but there are other Bal Chovos. We also are owed money. So a Shliach's not allowed to grab for one Bal Chov if there are other people people involved, because again, a Tophis Labal Chov, but Mokam Shechov Le'acherim, Lo Kone, it's not going to be a good acquisition in that situation. And so the Gemara says, Tafsua Inu. So then they themselves directly, they, they just grabbed the boat. Because again, they were owed the money. Rav Papa and Rav Huna Breid Rav Yoshua. And the Gemara says, Rav Papa Mimlach Maluchai. Rav Huna Breid Rav Yoshua Mimtach Labi Ashla. So then Rav Papa, he used the oars of the boat in order to move the boat. And Rav Huna Breid Rav Yoshua, he was pulling the boat with a rope. Mar Omar Ano Kanina Lolakula. One of the masters was saying, I'm, I'm the one who's acquiring all of it. Umar Omar Ano Kanina Lolakula. And the other one was saying, I'm the one who acquires all of it. So now they were arguing who gets the boat. So Paga Bahura of Pinchas Barami, so Rav Pinchas Barami, he met them, Omar Luhu, he said to them, Rav Shmuel the Amri Tarvayu, Rav and Shmuel both say, that which you're seizing, the property that you're taking has to be in Rosh Hashanah. So anyhow, you can't take this boat. Amar Luhu, so they said to him, No, Anon Nami, we also did exactly that. Mecharifusa de Nahara tefisna tefisna. We grabbed it from the currents of the river. That's the equivalent of Rosh Hashanah. Asu lekame de Rava, they came before Rava. Amar Luhu, he said to them, Kaki Chivri, he said, White geese, to, referring to the fact that they were older gentlemen. Meshalchi glimi de Inchi, you're taking off, you're throwing off the coats of individuals, meaning what you're doing is not appropriate. Hachi Amar of Nachman, this is what Rav Nachman says, Vahusha tefasa mechai. If you're going to be seizing property, it has to be while the person who owes the debt is alive. Uh, and in this case, you're taking it after the person who owes the debt has already died, and therefore, you cannot seize the property. And the Gemara continues, Avimi bereid Rabbi Avo, havu maske bezuze bechozoi. Avimi, the son of Rabbi Avo, he owed money to individuals in bechozoi. Shadrinu biad chama bereid de Rabba baravo. So he sent the money in the hands of Chama, who was the son of Rabba baravo. So Azal parinu, so he went to go and he went to pay off the debt. Amar Luhu, then he said to them, Havuli Shtar, now that I paid off the get, the, the debt, give me the document. Amrulay, they said to him, no, Sitroi Ninu, this was for, for a side debt, it was for a Milval Peh, there is no document, we're keeping the original document. So also Lakame de Rabbi Avo, so then he came before Rabbi Avo. Amar Lay said to him, Islach Sahadi de Parisinu, so are there witnesses at least that you paid it off? That's what he said. If you weren't able to get back the document, at least there should be witnesses. Amar Lay said to him, Lo, there, no, there are no witnesses. Amar Lay, so he said to him, Migo de Cholon Lomar Lohayu Dvor Meolam, since these individuals can now say it never happened, you never paid us back, Yecholon and Nami Lameymar Sitroy, and Inu, they're able to say that it was paying off a side debt and they are believed. And the Gemara says, Well, what about the fact now maybe the Shliach has to reimburse in this situation because the Shliach did it wrong. The Shliach should have collected the document first and then paid. And so the Gemara says, Amar Ravashi, Ravashi says, Chazina, no, we have to see exactly how the message was phrased. If he told the Shliach, Shkol Shatar of Ahav Zuze, that first get the Shtar and then pay the money, Mishalim. So then the Shliach actually did it the wrong way and he has to pay. But if he told him, Hav Zuze, Shkol Shtar, but if he said, give the money and then take the Shtar, so Lo Mishalim, so then the Shliach doesn't owe any money. He followed the instructions. But the Gemara says, Veloi, it's actually not true. It doesn't matter how it was phrased. Vein kach, vein kach, however it was phrased, Mishalim, the Shliach does have to pay, the Yomar Lei, because he can tell the Shliach, Litakune Shadartich, Velola Avusi, I sent you to help me. I didn't send you to mess things up. And the Gemara continues at the two dots, Ahi Yitasa to have a Mifkada Gabo, Meluga de Shtari, there was a woman, and it was deposited by her a bag of Shtaros, she was watching over these Shtaros. Asu Yarshim Katavile Minah, now the person who deposited the Shtaros by her, he died, and the Yarshim of that individual they claim, and they wanted them back, they wanted the bag of Shtaros, to be returned. So Amr Luhu, so she said to them, Mechayim Tefisna Luhu, I actually grabbed them, I seized them while this person was alive because I was owed money. So Asoy Lakame de Rav Nachman, they came before Rav Nachman, Omar Lo, he said to her, Isloch Sahadi de Tavua Minech Mechayim, Velo Yahivis Nihile, are there witnesses that while this person was alive, he claimed this from you and you didn't give it back to him? Amr Le, Amr Le, so she said to him, Lo, I have no witnesses. So he responded, him, Cain, if so, have a tfisa de la So that's considered that you're really seizing it after the person died. With tfisa de la lo klomi. And if you try to seize something after the person died, that's not considered a proper seizure. And the Gemara continues, There was a woman who was chayev to take an oath in the court of Rava. 
Amra lay bas of Chista, so the daughter of Rav Chista said to Rav, Yadana ba de Chashuda Ashua. Happens to be that I know about her that she suspects she's going to take a false oath. Now, the daughter of Rav Chista was actually also the wife of Rav, so his wife was telling him, You can't really trust her to take an oath. So, Afcha Rav, Lishua Asha Kenegda. So then Rav decided, I'm going to switch it and make the other litigant, he's going to be the one that takes the Shua because we do not trust her. And the Gemara continues, Zimnin have a Yasvi, Kamei Rav Papa Varavada Bar Masna, Aiso Ahushtara Gabei. One time, Rav Papa and Ravada Bar Masna, they were sitting in front of him and a certain Shtar came before him. Amar Le Rav Papa, so Rav Papa said to him, You Adana Bey, the Shtar of Priya, who I happen to know that this Shtar was already paid off. You shouldn't trust the Shtar. So Amar Le, so Rav said, Iko Inish Achrina Bahadi Demar, is there another person that can testify to the same effect together with the Master? Amar Le, lo, he said, No, there's no other person. I'm the only one. Amar Le said to him, Afa Gav the Ikamar, even though you're here, even though the Master, you're claiming that it's not a good star, Eid Echod Lav Klum, who one aid is going to be nothing, it's not sufficient. So Amar Le Rav Adabar Masna, so Rav Adabar Masna said, V'lo Yehi Rav Papa Kebas Rav Chista, but shouldn't Rav Papa be at least as good as the daughter of Rav Chista, meaning when your wife, when the daughter of Rav Chista, when she made a claim in court, you took it seriously. But now over here, Rav Papa's claim, you're not taking seriously. And so Rav responded, Bas Rav Chista Kimli Begavo, when it comes to the daughter of Rav Chista, so I know her, I know I can trust her. But Mar lo Kimli Begavo, but when it comes to the master, I don't have that certainty. And the Gemara continues, Amar of Papa, Rav Papa says, Hashta do Amar Mar, now that the master said, Kimli Begavo Milsi, that if you happen to know somebody and you know you can trust them, that's considered substantial. So then Kigon Abba Bar Marbri, the Kimli Begava. So Abba Mar, who's my son, and I know about him, he's trustworthy. So Karana Shtar Apume, I would rip up a star based on his word, based on his testimony. And the Gemara says, Karana Sakadaitach, one second, is he really saying, do you really think it means to say that you would tear up the star completely? Ella, rather, what it means is, Morana Shtar Apume, we're going to weaken the star based on his testimony, and we would require further evidence. And the Gemara continues, There was a woman who was chayv to take a shvua in the court of Rav Bevi Barabaya. So the other litigant said, let's bring her and let's have her swear, let's have her take the oath in the city, because after because already in the city, maybe she'll be more ashamed and then she'll admit, she'll say the truth. So Amr Luhu, so then she said to them, Kis vuli zechvasa. So I want you to write for me a star that, sh- that says that I am correct. And then when I take the oath, then you'll write, you'll give me this star that says that I win the case. So Amr Luhu Rabbevi Barabayas, or Rabbevi Barabayas said, Kis vula, you should write for the star. But the Gemara continues, Amr of Papi, Rav Papi said, Mishum da'asisu mimuloi. Because you come from a place of unfortunate people, Amrisu mili mulyasu, you're saying these kind of, un- this unfortunate ruling, meaning this ruling, this idea over here that you write the star first and then you give it to her if she takes the oath, that doesn't make sense. Hama Rava, because didn't Rava say, Hayasharta de daini de michtava, mekame de nichvu sahadi achasimis yadayu psula. Let's say you have an asharta that's written by the court, which is, which basically certifies a document and says that the signatures on the, on the document are certified. If it was written before the the witnesses actually came and testified on their signatures, it's possible. Alma, what do we see from there? Mechzika shikr, that there's a concept that something looks false. You can't write a star before the event actually happens. Hachanami mechzika shikr, here also would be a problem that it looks to be like a false situation. But the Gemara continues, Velesa, but that's not really true. We don't hold of this concept of Mechzi Keshikra, mean Rav Nachman, because of the statement of Rav Nachman. The Omer Rav Nachman, because Rav Nachman said, Omer Hoya Rabbi Meir, that Rabbi Meir used to say, Afilu mitzo ba'ashba v'chosmu v'nosnu la kosher. Even if, let's say, you have a star that is found in the garbage, it just happens to have the right names and dates, etc., and you sign it and you give it to her, it's going to be kosher. You see that even though, at the time it was written, it was certainly Mechzi Keshikra, but if fundamentally it's the the star is written with the right information and you sign it and you give it, it's going to be kosher. That statement was made with regards to a gedisha, with regards to a divorce document. And the Gemara says, Now, even according to the Rabbonon, they only argue on Rabbi Meir when, when we're talking about 
Gad Isha when we're talking about a divorce document. Why? Because there's a requirement that it be written for her sake, for this particular individual, for this particular divorce. But let's say you'd have the same thing by other Shtaris, Module, they would admit, and therefore you see we do not have this concern of Mechzi Keshikra. The Yomar Avasi, Yomar Rabbi Yochanan, because Ravasi said that Rabbi Yochanan said, Shtar Shalava Bo Pro, a similar kind of idea. Let's say you had a Shtar and it was already used, there was already a loan taken with the Shtar, it was already paid back, it's already been used. Ain't no choser velovabo. Even though it's got all the right information, you can't use that same Shtar again for a loan. Shekvar Nimchal Shibudo, because the Shibud that is created by the Shtar, once the Shtar is paid off, that Shibud goes away, it's forgiven, and therefore the, the Shtar loses its strength. And the Gemara points out, time of the Nimchal Shibudo, the only reason the star is not good is because the Shibud has left. Avol Lemichsi, but when it comes to the issue of Mechsi Keshikra, that does not seem to be an issue, and we'll continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Pehe Amid Beis.